ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತೋಷಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರನ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಮಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭಿ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
অচৈতন্যমিদম বিশ্বম যদি চৈতম চৈতন্যমিস্বরম ন বিধু সর্বশাস্ত্রী ভ্রমন্তি তে জন অচৈতন্যমিদম বিশ্বম যদি চৈতন্যমিস্বরম ন বিধু সর্বশাস্ত্রী ভ্রমন্তি ভ্রমন্তি তে জন গৌড়ীয় গোষ্ঠীপতি শিল ভক্তি সিদ্ধান্ত সরস্বতী গোস্বামী ঠাকুর প্রভুপা পরমহংস জগৎগুরু টোল্ড উই উইল হ্যাভ টু ওরশিপ উই উইল হ্যাভ টু ডু বাজন অফ দ্যাট অ্যাপসিলুট উই আর অনলি ইন্টারেস্টেড টু ডু বাজন অফ দ্যাট অ্যাপসিলুট উই আর অলওয়েজ ইন্টারেস্টেড টু ডু বাজন অফ দ্যাট অ্যাপসিলুট আই মিন দ্য সোর্স অফ অল চেতন ইস দ্য সোর্স অফ অল চেতন চৈতন্য মহাত গৌড়ীয় গোষ্ঠীপতি শ্রীশিলা ভক্তি সিদ্ধান্ত সরস্বতী গোস্বামী ঠাকুর প্রভুপাত টোল উই উইল হ্যাভ টু ডু ভাজন অফ দ্যাট অ্যাপসিলুট উই ক্যান নট ডু এনি পার্সিয়াল ভাজন কমপ্লিট ভাজন উইল হ্যাভ টু ডু চৈতন্য মহাত প্রভুপাত টোল ইস দ্য সোর্স অফ অল চেতন বস্তু চৈতন্য ইস দ্য সোর্স অফ অল চেতন চৈতন্য মঠ ইজ ইকুয়াল টু চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু চৈতন্য মঠ ইজ ইকুয়াল টু চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু অ্যান্ড অল গৌরী মাঠ অল গৌরী মাঠ দে আর সাপোজ টু সার্ভ চৈতন্য মাঠ দে আর অল সাপোজ টু সার্ভ চৈতন্য মাঠ ইজ দ্য অরিজিনাল মাঠ অল দে তো অল গৌরী মাঠস there why is so many gauri mats but all those gauri mats they are going to preach for chaitanya mat all gauri mats they have originally each and every word all gauri mat they are by their individual effort all finally they want to preach chaitanya mat i mean is kripa that is why we always respect chaitanya mat as chaitanya mahaprabhu himself chaitanya mat is not a construction of sand and cement and brick chaitanya mat is transcendental of prakita those who are the servant of chaitanya chaitanya mahaprabhu they can stay in chaitanya mat outside people they have no nothing to do there those who are eternal parsad of chaitanya mahat only they can stay inside chaitanya mahat to serve chaitanya mahat i mean for preaching of chaitanya mahat the shloka i started with is from chaitanya charitamrita there it is written achaitanya midam visham yadi chaitanya mishwaram na vidhu this whole world they are unconscious a chetana is not there we cannot see achaitanya midam visham it seems they have their life it seems they all of they they are they have their life but actually dead body kishnadas kobiraj goswami speaking achaitanya midam visham jodi chaitanya mishwaram na vidhu if they are not going to have any information about that original chetan vastu so they are surely not chetan they are just like inert vastu it seems they are alive but actually not that so achaitanya midam visham yadi chaitanya mishwaram na vidhu sarva shastragno opihi brahmanti te yana if they are going to memorize all shastra everything but still they cannot get any solution of their life i mean they can go on taking birth and birth and death cycle can go on sarva shastra or maybe they are going to read all shastra can speak so many thing but still they can go on traveling life after life they have no solution because they have no information about the original chetan vastu i mean source of all chetan vastu চৈতন্য দেব কৃষ্ণদাস কবিরাজ গোস্বামী রাইটিং দ্যাট 
all the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Padambuja Madhupebhya Namo Namaha. Sri Chaitanya Padambuja Madhupebhya Namo Namaha. Those who are honeybees, those who are honeybees, around, hovering around the lotus like flower, lotus like you know, Charan Kamal of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the honeybees they are moving around, hovering around to take honey, to take honey, nectar from the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. See Chaitanya Padambuja Madhupya Bhya Namo Namaha. They are they can be compared with honeybees. They are collecting honey from the lotus like Charankamal of Mahaprabhu and they are testing, they are getting test and they are also going to distribute among devotees. So we are going to depend upon those honeybees to get honeys. Otherwise there is no, no way out actually. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami going to express some extreme humbleness. Paishanno Brahma Prito. Paishanno Brahma Prito. Vaigunno Guna Kalito. Guna Kalito. Paishanno Guna Kalito. Paishanno Brahma Prito. Dainarna Ve Nimagna Ham Si Chaitanya Vaidyamasra. Morning time, I was speaking about the humble attitude of Kishwadas Kaviraj Goswami. For common people, it is dangerous because they can think that Kishwadas Kaviraj Goswami is going to identify himself as a very uh, simple man now, useless. He is going to identify himself as even inferior than the insects available in stool. So what is the nature? Why why should we give time to hear about all the all what he has written? Papa speaking, he is writing this way. But actually he is the topmost. The more humbleness there, the more humbleness there in Guru Vaishnav, they are more and more elevated. Kishodas Kobirak Goswami can write this kind of humble can speak this kind of humble attitude, can express. But the place of Kishwadas Kaviraj Goswami is unto the lotus feet of Radharani. That's why. Because in the servitorship, in the in Radha Anugatta, in the way of Radha Anugatta, in the way of Radha Anugatta, Trinadapi Bhav is quite natural. Other people can show that they are Trinadapi, but they are actually not Trinadapi. They have some false ego. But those who are going to follow Radharani, their Trinadapi is quite natural. They are not artificial. There is not artificiality in it. So, Kishnadas Kaviraj Goswami writing, Vaigunna Kita Kalito, Paishunna Brahma Kalito. My real self, there, you cannot find my real self, it is already eaten up by some insect. Like bookworm, you know, bookworm. Bookworm always going to cut books. So, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is going to identify himself. I have no qualities, I have all bad qualities. Those who are going to, you know, destroy my real self. Always going to destroy. And all beastly behavior, beastly conception, all beastly behavior, they are inside me. Where I can go? So, Vaigunna Kita Kalito, Paishunna Brahma Pirito, I am affected, I am infected, infected by all this kind of disease. Now, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami is asking, where I can go? Dainar Nama Nimagnaham, I am going to drive into the ocean of Daino 
and I am going to take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That means, without humbleness, nobody can take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not possible. Sarvam Vatajajo could not take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the beginning. Balla Bhatto could not take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the beginning. Not possible. Impossible. I was discussing in the morning time that the water was of Vaishnava, lotus feet, and the dust particle from the lotus feet of Vaishnava, and the uchishta of Vaishnava, very important, which can give us bump, bumper success, very bumper success. But this is rare, not available. And if somebody is going to take dust particle forcefully from a Vaishnava, it is also offensive. You cannot take it. Like one so-called devotee, he wanted to take dust particle from the lotus feet of Gaurkishwar Bhavaji Maharaj. Gaurkishwar Bhavaji Maharaj become very angry. Because Bhavaji Maharaj is, can understand that he is kapat. Very angry. Why you take? Why you touch my lotus? Why you touch my feet? You can meet with great danger. A Vaishnava can never curse anybody. It is not curse. It is one kind of asirvad. You think it is, it is curse. But actually Vaishnavas, when they are angry externally, going to keep curse to you, you should be very happy. Because their curse not going to yield not going to yield any bad result. Any example you can see it in Shastra. Naraji Maharaj, when going to cars, you know, that, you know, two sons of Kuber, Nal Kuber, Nal Kuber. In that case, what happened? They are going to catch the lotus feet and say, please excuse us. We have done mistake. And due to this reason, they got the chance to take birth in Gokula and finally they meet with Krishna. Krishna is going to help them, deliver them. So otherwise there was no possibility. So in, so in Shastra, any kind of cars or this kind of thing is not bad. I mean pure version of those words. So externally you can see Srila Gorkishwar Bhavaji Maharaj became very angry because he is going to touch. The man was very sorry, with heavy heart, going to complain, Srila Bhimala Prasad Saraswati, I mean Prabhupada, I went to take darshan of Bhavaji Maharaj. I took a dust particle from his lotus feet, he became very angry and speak this way. Prabhupada speaking, you see, first of all you think, we have our right, we have our right to touch their lotus feet. We have our right to take one dust particle from their lotus feet. How you touch? That is your mistake. So we have no right to take forcefully dust particle from the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava or Uchishta also, they are not giving. This way it is almost rare. Sriman Mahaprabhu also wanted to glorify your Guru Vaishnava. Bhagavan Sri Krishna also. Both of them. Gauranga Mahaprabhu manifesting Sikh Lela. Gauranga Mahaprabhu manifesting Sikh Lela. Fever, heavy fever. When Mahaprabhu, like ordinary human being, Mahaprabhu also going to Gaya to give funeral cake to in the name of Father. Do you think it is necessary? Do you think it is necessary for Gauranga Mahaprabhu to go to Gaya Dham to offer funeral cake for Jagannath Misra, he is the father of... Do you think it is necessary? Not necessary. But Mahaprabhu is going to manifest human lila. If Mahaprabhu is not going to do, everybody cannot do. So, he is going to show us what to do, what not to do, and ultimately going to show us the treasure of devotional field. But finally, but in the all ideal, 
when Mahaprabhu acting as a student, that is also ideal student. When Mahaprabhu is going to manifest as an ideal teacher, is the ideal teacher. When Mahaprabhu is going to manifest himself as a Grihastha, topmost Grihastha, ideal Grihastha, all ideal, idealism. So, Mahaprabhu going to there in Gaya Khetra to pay, to offer funeral cake to, in the name of Father. It is one kind of dra drama, you can say, because Mahaprabhu, Sri Krishna Chaitanya is Krishna himself. No need, but he is going to show us the way, how to do. There Mahaprabhu manifests Sikh Leela. There Mahaprabhu manifests Sikh Leela. No solution. No solution could be found. Finally, what to do? Some devotee, Mahaprabhu speaking, my fever can go away if you can find one pure Brahman. Pure Brahman means those who are having faith in Vishnu. People can say they have started, they are, have taken birth in Brahman family, not that. Those who have a strong faith in Vishnu, they are actually Vaishnava, they, they can be Brahman also. Brahman means if they are they have no faith in Vishnu, they are not Brahman. Anyway, so Mahaprabhu speaking, my fever can go away if you can get water was of one Brahman, pure Brahman. Finally, Mahaprabhu is going to take the water was from the lotus feet of a pure Brahman, then the fever go away. So this way Mahaprabhu wants to show us the value of the lotus feet of, I mean the water was of the lotus feet of pure Vishnu. With, we can take it very lightly, what will happen? Also, about Ganga we can say, Ganga is coming from the lotus feet of Vishnu. Ganga itself coming from the lotus feet of Vishnu and in Shastra it is written, it is, it, daru, it is called actually Drava Brahma, water Brahma. Ganga flowing in the form of water Brahma. Always and every time pure, there is no contamination. Some wicked man, dirty man can do something. But still, purity of Ganga can never be contaminated. It is written in Shastra. And also, you can test, scientific test. Anyhow, people are going to do something rubbish in Ganga. But anyway, Ganga can never lose his potency. It's Dobo Brahma, anyway. That is why we should understand. Our Pundarik Vidhanidhi, he used to drink Ganga water before sitting for Orsiv. Before sitting for Orsiv, it is prohibited to take one drop of water. But Pundarik Vidhanidhi is going to drink Ganga water and after the sitting for Orsiv. What is the reason? Because Pundarik Vidhanidhi is thinking, if I drink Ganga water, I can purify myself, then I can develop my right to worship Salagram. So, they have a strong faith in Ganga. Strong faith. Daytime, Pundarik Vidhanidhi never used to go to Ganga. Because daytime, if going to see somebody going to wash his nose, going to clean body, somebody going to throw something, Ravi, so... So, night time, around 9, 10 o'clock, he used to go and pay Dandavat to Ganga, because night time there is no scope to say, to stay, to see anything rubbish. So, anyway, he was not ready to lose faith in Ganga. This way, Ganga, we can say, coming from the lotus feet of Vishnu. This way, you should know, understand the value of Ganga. You should understand the value of this Dham, all dust particles of this Bhagavan and all devotees. You cannot think it is a material place. Why should I pay Dandava? Those who are pure Vaishnava, they are rolling down on ground to take dust particle from 
But we are going to, oh, dust here. We are going to think this way. During Damparikram, if somebody is going to put, you know, close his nose because some dust particle there, Popat used to say, you open your nose, you open your nose, let dust particle go inside you, it is good. It is transcendental, aprakita, you can purify yourself, but common people going to. <laughs> this is the condition. About Bhagavan Sri Krishna, same thing happened. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to show the value of dust particle from the lotus feet of Brajavasis. Bhagavan Sri Krishna manifesting Sikh Leela in Dharaka, Sikh Leela. No medicine is effective. Everybody, they are trying, but no medicine. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took the water was from the lotus feet of one Brahman Vaishnava and to, to drink, to show us. He is Supreme Lord, but still going to show us. Otherwise, people can hit. Why should I tell? Ah, some jam, some jam can be there. I can be affected, but not that. People, when they can go up in bhajan, they can develop this kind of faith, not before that. I can speak a series of incidents, after that I can go to Parikram. When Sri Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna was manifesting Sikh Leela, that time, heavy headache, heavy headache. Nobody can find any medicine. Nobody can find any medicine which is just effective to stop headache. Finally, Bhagavan Sri Krishna told, if you can, if some pure devotee can give dust particle from his feet or her feet, then my headache can go away. In Krishna Lila you can find, it is there. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, if some devotee, pure devotee ready, to, get, to give some dust particle from lotus feet, then I can apply on my head. It is the best medicine. But nobody ready to go. <coughs> Naraji was sent. Naraji, Naraji was sent different places to search. Different places, Naraji searching. Who? Any devotee there? Those who are ready to give dust particle from their lotus feet for Krishna? No devotee ready. Anywhere Prabhu and Naraji running, you can give your dust, dust particle from your Lord. No, oh, no, it's Krishna. How I can get? Nobody ready. Even all places all over the world, finish. Nobody ready to give. Nobody ready. Finally, Naraji was bound to go to Vrindavan and there Naraji requesting to all Brajavasis and Brajagopikas, could you please give some dust particle from a lotus feet? Why? Why? Bhagavan, our Krishna is very sick, headache. How many kg you need? How many? Take. All. You can take. How many you take? Because they are ready to go to hell if Krishna is going to enjoy. If Krishna is enjoying Krishna, if, you, if, they, if they find that Krishna is happy, Krishna is okay, for that, they are ready to go to hell. That is called Vrindavan Dham. Vrindavan Dham is not a matter of joke. That's why Bhagavan Sikh is not told, it is not possible for me to pay something. Na pare aham niravadda sangyujam. Na pare aham niravadda sangyujam. Jama, Avajano, Durjana, Greho, Sinkhala, Sangris, Chatadva, Pratiyatu, Sadhana. Na pare aham, niravadda sangyuja. What kind of seva you have done in your life is impossible for me to pay. How I can pay? You get satisfied with your highness. You please get satisfied with your own highness. I have nothing to pay to you. This is called Vrindavan. But for whole infinity world or even in Vaikuntha, everywhere, it is a commitment, it is a promise of Bhagavan. Jai Jathamang Prapadante Tang Satayiva Bhajamyao. 
if you are going to do some bhajan to me, I can pay you. Because you are businessman, na? You are businessman. If you are do something, you like to get some return, Bhagavan gave you. No, what you need, you take away. This way, actually, we must understand the glories of Dharma and what are was of Vaishnava, Uchishta, all. One or two examples I can give to you. One devotee, his name is Kalidas. One devotee, his name is Kalidas. You can find in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Kalidas is the uncle of Raghunath Das Goswami. Somehow, relative, uncle. Not direct uncle, relative uncle. Uh, maybe some. He was very much interested to take Uchishta of all Vaishnavas. It was his bhajan. He was very much interested to run here and there to meet with pure Vaishnava and waiting when they can give Uchishta to me. Sometime, if they are not at all ready to give Uchishta, he used to come outside and wait. When they can take a prasadam and throw the plate, he can identify their plate and take it. Can. He can lick. If, if some boys are going to give, okay, you take. As some boys are not giving. So, it's very, very much interesting. In fact, it was this one kind of bhajan mode. He used to do this. Always running here and there, all pure Guru Vaishnav used to uh, give something, offer something. They take and they throw. Then he used to take Uchishta. Vaishnav Uchishta. This way, one day he went to one devotee, name is Joru Thakur. His name is Joru Thakur. His externally, I should not speak, but externally he is from a very low caste. I should not say Vaishnav is Vaishnav, but anyway to make you understand. He was, he was from a very low caste. So in the village, nobody liked to exchange anything. Like in, you know, neighbor house, na? your uncle or aunt, auntie giving something, we cook this, you take, and your mother giving something to them. This is quite, especially in India, I, we know. Our father, mother, we have seen. This kind of system, exchange of, you know, some, so many things. So, in village, nobody like to exchange anything with that Joru Thakur, because they know it's very low caste. Nobody there is supposed to stay. Somehow with humble mood, staying, getting something, cooking and offer to Bhagavan this way there. One day, this Kalidas, he going there to Joru Thakur, to meet with Joru Thakur. To meet with Vaishnava is so important, that even you cannot, even in dream you cannot understand. Even in dream you cannot understand. To meet with Vaishnava is so important. Srila Bhakti Pumat Puri Goswami Maharaj, he was very much interested to meet with different Vaishnavas. Even whereas Bhakti Pumat Puri Goswami Maharaj is senior to them. Senior to them. But still, he is very interested to meet with Vaishnava. He used to travel long distance to meet with some Vaishnava. You can go mad. How possible? What kind of faith in Vaishnava? He is senior. He is senior God He is very elevated, very gigantic person in Divajan. A person of Popa. But still, he used to go here and there to take travel, going here and there to meet with Vaishnava, pay Dandavat, be some pranami, take some prasad on this. This was the rules. One day, I can speak one, you can then you can then understand, otherwise it's practical experience. One day, all preaching party, by that time, by that time, I think Bhakti, Daito Madhav Goswami already gone from this material world. Bhakti Bhalla Tittu Goswami Acharya and uh, Bhakti Vigyan, Bhakti Vigyan, all there together. They gone to some place for preaching. It is called Bolpur. I've been there also. I speak Harikatha 
together with Chaitanya Gauri With Chaitanya Gauri they uh, I was bound to go different places because we were standing order of Tito Maharaj. Anyway, from there, Nitananda Ekchakra is uh, not so long distance. From Balpur, it takes only two hours, two hours and a half hours. Very near. Balpur, uh, from Balpur, the preaching party, they are speaking Harikatha. Guru Mahaj is also there. Guru Mahaj told, I can go to take darshan of some sadhu, my god brother. They said, okay, you are allowed because morning time. Harikatha is evening time. Guru Mahaj gone, very early in the morning. Very early in the morning, Guru Mahaj gone to some place. And uh, there, Long distance. I also been there in my in my own life one time, only one time in her. It is a place where Jayadev Goswami. It is near Kendavillu Gram. Jayadev Goswami took birth there. From that is a area. I mean adjacent area. So he went there to take darshan of his god brother, but his god brother was so sick that. It was lock and key. He couldn't take darshan of Vaishnavas. So sick, sick and very sick. So the temple, I don't know why, they, some reason can be there. Because those who, are, those who can show that I am a very exalted person for them, everybody. But he is very humble man. He is speaking, I like to oh, no, no darshan because he is very sick. Uh, lying in bed, no problem. Guru Mahaj come back. From that place, unnecessarily go and come, give some pranami and then come back and pay Dandavat outside gate. And coming to Balpur back and fasting. Everybody say, it is prasadam. What are prasadam? No. Today I could not get darshan of Vaishnavas so I can fast. So you understand. Today I could not get darshan of Vaishnavas so. This is my black day, so I cannot take prasadam. It's fasting there. This way we understand from the behavior of those elevated devotees, what is the value of dust particle from the lotus feet of Vaishnavas, darshana of Vaishnavas, water was, uchista. Anyway, I can come this point. Like Vajogopika, Prajogopikas, they wanted to give dust particle. This way Krishna was feeling okay, Krishna applying. So he wanted to prove the value of those Vajrakopikas. They are more valuable than me. They wanted to prove this way. Now Kalidas went there with one, one basket of mango, ripe mango. Basket, one basket. And basket, so ripe mango. He took in the head and going there in the village and he is going in the house of that Jaru Thakur, Jaru Thakur uh, almost uh, noon time is over, afternoon time approaching, he go there, then put the mango basket there and offer pay Dandavat, pay and speak, uh, you please offer this ripe mango, I arrange, you can offer, surely I can arrange, surely I can arrange, no problem. And I can arrange prasadam for you, Jarutagu speaking. No, actually I took prasadam. Actually I cannot cook for you because I am from low family, low caste. So I can, uh, I can give some rice and everything to Brahman family. They can cook for you. But no, don't worry. I already took prasadam. You please offer this. For some time, he is speaking Harikatha, hearing Harikatha. Looking, I mean, taking darshan of that Vaishnava, taking dust particle. Nobody like to give dust particle directly. Anyway, after that, uh, because he knows that Jaru Thakur can never give uchista to me. Jaru Thakur can never give uchista to me, never. Because he thinks I am from low caste, how I can give? So, he took one decision. He said, I am now going, eh? you offer this mango. Then he gone and waiting un, un, under a bush. There is one bush waiting for him. 
Then Joru Thakur is going to take out some four or five mangoes from that box and washing and offering to Bhagavan. I mean, then going to take mango, well, nah, very sweet mango, very nice quality mango. After that, uh, taking, prasa uh, taking prasadam, mango prasadam, they're going to take in a leaf and going to throw in a dustbin, you know? And, and that Kalidas watching, which dustbin he is going to throw. He is going to run there when they gone, taking, taking Uchista and shedding tears. You see, taking Uchista mango and shedding tears. So, that's why he was the only candidate. What is the final result? What is the final result of taking Uchista, Vaishnavas all? He got Siddhi. He got Siddhi very quickly. How? But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never allow anybody to take water was Because every day, Mahaprabhu going to Jagannath temple and in there is one place, you don't know, that place there, uh, Shevak, I mean, Govinda giving water, Mahaprabhu washing leg. After that, Mahaprabhu enter into Jagannath temple. It is the rules. But nobody can take water of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lotus feet. No order. But one day, our Kalidas, Mahaprabhu washing leg, and Kalidas waiting. His washing leg, is taking water. One, two, three. Mahaprabhu says, okay, stop now. This is your Siddhi. This is your Siddhi, because you have a strong belief in Uchista Vaishnava. So we have belief. We can see there can be some disease, some contamination can be there, virus, bacteria can be there. Who can take? Nobody can take. Nobody can take. At all somebody going to take Uchista is very lucky. With full faith you will have to take. So, this is a Siddhi. By taking Uchista or Vaishnavas, he becomes Siddha. Gauranga Mahapu is going to allow him to take water was from him. That was. So this way we know the valuation of the dust particle from Dhamma, from in a water was of Vaishnava, Uchista, all we know. So you see, our Saragoswami, they started living, started living in the sense they are eternally present in Vrindavan. They are eternally present in Vrindavan, but still. By the order of Gorang Mahapu, they are going to stay in Vrindavan to discover all different places. Follow. Saragostami Stockholm, it is written, Sankha Purvaka Nama Gananati Bhi Kala Vasani Kito Nidrahara Vihara Kadi Vijito Chatanta Dino Chajo. You see, you cannot have any estimation of their property. How much property? Now, they purposely wanted to become a beggar. They are coming out of home in search of Krishna. You see the mood? With this mood, we should go to Vrindavan. With this mood. They have huge amount of property, huge amount of, like a king. But still they wanted to avoid all property, all everything and wanted to go to Vrindavan to lead their very simple life for the satisfaction of Krishna. Because those who are not Niskinchan, those who are not Niskinchan, they can never meet with Krishna. Try to understand, memory. Those who are not Niskinchan, they can never meet with Krishna. Because Krishna is available for those Niskinchan devotees. Kunti Devi, that's why I told in Bhagavatam we can find Kunti Devi speaking that you are available for only those who are Niskinchan. Niskinchan devotee. Nobody can. Janma Yusajya Srutu Rivi 
জন্মই সহ্য সুত রেভি মানে জন্মই সহ্য সুত শিবি এ ধমান মদহাপমান জন্মই সহ্য সুত শিবি রে ধমান মদহাপমান নৈব অর্হতি অভিধাতুম তম তম কিঞ্চন তম কিঞ্চন গোচরম দোজ ওয়ার এক্সপ্রেসিং প্রাউড অফ দেয়ার অপ্লায়েন্সেস দোজ ওয়ার এক্সপ্রেসিং প্রাউড অফ অফ হাই ফ্যামিলি দোজ ওয়ার প্রাউড অফ দেয়ার হাই নাইস ফিগার হাই নাইস লুকিং ভেরি বিউটিফুল ভেরি গুড দোজ ওয়ার গোয়েন্ট এক্সপ্রেস প্রাউড ফর উই আর হাইলি এডুকেটেড আই এম ফর দেম নট পসিবল ইউজুয়ালি উই নো the false room the false room of your vanity the false room of your vanity is standing on almost four, four pillar that is called one is high birth janma aisharya appliance aisharya and eh? suto education very high good and very nice looking healthy usually the false i mean ফ্রেজাইল রুম ব্রিটিল রুম উইচ ক্যান এনি টাইম ক্যান ব্রেক ডাউন দিস ক্যান নো আনস্টাবল রুম অফ ইউর ফলসি গ স্ট্যান্ডিং অন ফোর পিলার জন্ম ঐশ্বর্য সুত কুন্তি দেবী স্পিকিং দে ক্যান নেভার মিট উইথ ইউ দোজ ওয়ার আর গোয়িং টু ফিল প্রাউড অফ দেয়ার হাই ফ্যামিলি বার্থ এডুকেশন nice looking so much of princes they can meet, they never meet with krishna krishna is only available krishna is only available for those in krishna devotee no no amount of money not possible so it is written janma isarjo sruto si vire dhamana madha pamano naiva arhati avidatum tamak avidatum bai তমা কিঞ্চন গোচরম কুন্তি দেব স্পিকিং ইউ আর অনলি অ্যাভেলেবল ফর দোজ নিষ্কিঞ্চন নিবোডি নো বডি ক্যান সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য লাইফ স্টাইল অফ রূপ সনাতন ইফ ইউ নো ইউ ক্যান স্টার্ট ক্রাইম হি দে সনাতন রূপ ইট ইজ রিটিন ইন চৈতন্য চৈতন্য ইউ ক্যান গো গ্রাম ইউ নো গ্রাম চোলা চোলা ড্রাই চোলা fry fried chola gram gram taking this is the food not even chapati sometimes sometimes chapati because no time to go to mathura to bake okay nothing there okay they are uh, uh, fried gram taking and taking some water this is their lifestyle so high their you know lifestyle so heavily they used to live Niskinchan, totally. I can speak one incident. I can speak one incident so that you can realize the renunciation of Rupa Goswami. I can speak only one incident by the help of which you can realize 100% what is the renunciation of Rupa Goswami Pa, Sanatan Goswami Pa, this big renunciation. one brahmin one brahmin one brahmin from bardwan bardwan district in bengal one brahmin from bardwan district bengal bardwan district bengal he was very much upset because daughter grown up he will have to arrange marriage but no money without money marriage how possible very upset so he wanted to take shelter of sankar he wanted to go to varanasi and praying to shankar bhagwan you see my painful condition how i can arrange marriage of my daughter i can arrange i mean uh, daily bread i cannot arrange so he started fasting fasting and without water without <coughs> without any grain of fasting finally finally Kashi Vishwanath was bound to come in dream. Kashi Vishwanath coming in dream and speaking, well, I know you are pure, you are actually nice Brahman and you are very poor, so you can go to, uh, you need money, na? you need a property, na? 
Money, no. You need property, no? I need property. Okay, I can guide you. You can go to Vrindavan. There is a very rich man. His name is Sonatan. You can go to him. <laughs> very rich man, you can go to him. He's a very nice sadhu. You have to catch the lotus feet, he can give you all property. I'm like, okay. Kashi Vishwanath guiding. He cannot, can never speak lie. So the man running, running and running, reaching Vrindavan. Finally, after reaching, he is taking information, which Sanatana was saying, uh, how, where, which place, he is taking information. All Brajavas say, he is a very nice sadhu. You can go, he is staying there, at the bank of Jamuna. Oh, really? He is going to meet with Sanatana Gosai. Usually, Sanatana Gosai is not talking with anybody. Not talking with him. But I'm busy with the seva. But anyway, that Brahman coming and going, and going to narrate his own painful history. He is going to meet Sanatan Gosai, pay prostate dandavat, and going to speak all about his painful history. So finally, I am coming by the order of <coughs> Kashi Vishwanath to beg some help from me. Help? Which help? Mane, Kasi Vishwanath told, you can give some property to me. Kasi Vishwanath told, yes, Kasi Vishwanath, I have no property. Only my copin, only one copin, one water pot. No, Kasi Vishwanath told, you have property. How Kasi Vishwanath, I don't know. But surely Kasi Vishwanath cannot speak lie. Then let me, wait, 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 let me think. I have only copin, only this copin, not even this cloth. And water pot. And Kasi Vishnu told you I'm rich. How I'm rich, I don't know. Where, 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 where? For some time. After that thinking, well, well, there was one touchstone I got. One touchstone. If I touch this touchstone with iron, it becomes gold. So it can be in the great use of this man. As useless for me. Uh, I can give. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Then Sanatana Gosai going to locate the long, long, ag long ago. Even he forgot. Even he forgot which uh, this uh, one uh, important thing. He is not giving any importance. As useless for me. Then he is going to wait. Come here. At the bank of Jamuna, he is going to locate this position. Locate like stool and urine, na? Like stool and urine, people locating the stool and urine. This way, yeah, yeah, you, you dig this place. Something you can get, property. Huh? Then the man going to dig that place and going to find one stone. A stone, what I can do? A stone, I don't need, I need property. Foolish. This is property. This property, how? It's touch stone. If you touch with some iron, it can be converted into gold. It can be of it can be of your great use. It can be of your great use. You can utilize it. Now go. Then that man gone mad, touching this stone with some iron and watching gold, 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 all around gold, all around gold. What to do? I am the king of this earth. Finally. He is running like crazy. He, finally, he is running like crazy with the stone. But after running some place, Kashi Vishwanath gives some idea. Kashi Vishwanath bless. Kashi Vishwanath, you know, going to give some idea. So the man running away and after long distance stopping. Well, which I, which I think which I think very valuable thing, but that sadhu going to sow like a stool and urine. You can take this. What can be the reason? So this property I should not take. I can take the property which he has, Sanatana Goswami has. I cannot take this one. Then he is running with the stone again in front of Sanatan. You say, I cannot take this stone, I don't need this property, I need the property you have. So now I have no property. Yes, you have. He is taking the stone, he is taking the touch stone and throw into Jamuna. 
I don't need this stone. No, I need the property you have. I need the property you have. What kind of property you are getting, so that you are going to think this property as insignificant. What kind of property you have? You please give me. In Bengali, there is one writing, Jedhane hoiya dhoni, monire manona mani, tariya kon mangi ami noto sure. I want to get one drop of that property which you already have. The reason for why you are going to neglect that, useless. So you understand the mood of a pure Guru Vishnu. They can arrange all property. They have their power. They can gather, but they don't like to do. Because they know it is one kind of hazard, headache. Nobody can do Krishna Bhajan. They can come to make it, you know, trouble with you. Unnecessary congestion. To avoid to avoid this kind of useful, use, this kind of useless people, to avoid. They are acting like a crazy man. Usually, those pure Vaishnava, they are acting like a crazy man. Like you will say, he is a crazy, brain crack. So, let us go. So, no people can come. Be it Sanatan, Rup, Bhangshidat Babaji Maharaj, our our Gaurkishar, Babaji Maharaj, Bhagavan, all they, purposely they do. So that you cannot approach them. It is impossible to approach them. They, they, they are not going to. They know unless they can disturb. They are not interested about Hari Bhajan. Only our Gauri Mart, only Prabhupada. We should pay respect to Prabhupada. Only Prabhupada. He was very much interested to change all this bonded soul. They are also interested, but they know bonded soul can come, make disturbances. So, Prabhupada playing the role of both Paramahansa and preacher. Prabhupada playing the role of both topmost Paramahansa. No Paramahansa can be compared with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Topmost Paramahansa at the same time is Paramahansa at the same time, great preacher, Acharya. Usually, Paramahansa are not going to act as because they are leading their life this way. So, we have this kind of chance. This is the condition of Bindavan. And that touchstone, and that touchstone, about this touchstone, the information reached Akbar Gosai, Akbar, Akbar Vatsa. Akbar Vatsa, he took information that there was one touchstone and one Sanatana he gave to somebody, gave to somebody, he thrown into water. So let me search. If I can get it, I am a king, I can, it is useful for me. So Akbar was coming with so many people. They are going to search whole water of Jamuna. Whole water of Jamuna. Day and night they are searching. But they could not get in touch with that touchstone, but the anchor of that ship converted into gold. Akbar Basa was bound to believe because the anchor, anchor means that crest, iron piece, which is there underwater, it was somehow was in touch with uh, that touchstone, who knows, it already converted into gold. So many. This is called Vrindavan, just only eight years back. Eight years back, one sadhu traveling in traveling in Mindavan, a famous news. He wearing one broken chapel, broken chapel. Broken chapel is uh, almost you, you can throw it, useless. But with some iron string and everything, you know, he's going to make it tight because no money. With with some iron string, you know, this uh, wear is going to. Repair and using. He is traveling here and there, different different places of Vindavan. Follow. Different places of Vindavan. Finally, what happened? One sadhu discover, Baba, what is there in chapel? Your chapel, what is there? You see, your chapel, what is there? Then the Baba looking his chapel is converted into gold. 
I'm in the, I'm in the where. Where now? He uses where to repair the chapel. The where is already converted into gold. Already converted into gold. And it is not story. Even scientists, they are very much in favor of this conception. They say in periodic table, in periodic chemistry, periodic table, element, you know, there, no? if the uranium, if uranium can be converted into plutonium, uranium due to degradation of nuclear, you know, they can con be converted into plutonium next day. So why not possible? If the molecular structure of iron can be converted into the molecular structure of gold, somehow by the magic spell of this, you know, maybe some power is there, touchstone, so it can be converted. So they believe it. And also in our you know, different sastra we can know this kind of conception is there. Uh, Sonatan Gosai in Hari Bhakti Vilas also writing that just like Sonatan Gosai writing in Hari Bhakti Vilas, just like just like a bell metal can be converted into gold by the reaction by some chemical reaction, Sonatan Gosai writing. one bell metal can be converted into gold by the reaction by some by the procedure of some reaction, some chemical reaction. Similarly, one man when going to take diksha from an elevated devotee, very, very nice Paramahansa, his life also can be converted. Sanatana so, Goswami writing Hari Bhakti Vilas. Just like a bell metal can be converted into gold by the association of some chemical reaction, similarly, one man, dirty man, if they are going to submit unto the lotus feet of a pure devotees by the association of their devotees, it is sure that he can be converted into devotee. All dirtiness of heart, everything can go away. So Nathan was writing. Anyway, now today we like to touch one thing. That is how how Govindadev was discovered. The miracle. Because Gunu Govindadev I only troll standing there just from Daparju. I mean, Daparji, Dapur just gone, Kali started, that's why. I, I already told how Bajranabha came here, I wanted to search different places and wanted to discover different, different little places. Also, wanted to, uh, you know, install some deities and temple. I already told. Some temple, become dilapidated, some temple gone under mud, because due to earthquake or so many natural calamities. Because 5,000 years, you know, not a matter of joke. 5,000 years back. So this, this way. So now Govinda they've gone under mud. Under mud. Nobody knows where is Govinda. Nobody. Rupa Goswami, at that time, he was doing bhajan in what, what we say at present, Radha Damodar. But Damodar was established after. Previously, there was a small bhajan kutir. Of, you can find the bhajan kutir of Rupa Goswami Bhad and the Samadhi. There, Radha Damodar Mandir, you can find. So, our Rupa Goswami Bhad used to do bhajan there. And Sonatan Goswami, and, and Sonatan Goswami, used to do bhajan there. Sanatana Goswami used to do bhajan there in, at the bank of Jamuna. I mean there, you know, I already told, where is Dada's Aditya Thira. Uh, someday there was in the, at the bank of Jamuna, there was bhajan kuti, used to do. Sometime going up, upper also one small bhajan kuti you can find. So this way used to, that was erected after. But the incident I already told about the touch stone, it was much earlier. After that, it has happened. Yeah. They gradually, they made, I mean, some rich man giving, so helping, making that Madan Mohan temple. It was after. That time, Sunatan Gosain doing bhajan at the bank of Jamuna, that, I mean, that Madan Mohan at present, what do you say? And Rupa Goswami used to do bhajan there. 
what at present Radha Damodar they have us. They should do bhajan. Very near, no. They are doing bhajan, writing so many things. So, Rupa Goswami Bhatt, trying his best, how to discover, because it is written in Shastra, so many things are there, then they are trying their best to discover. Finally, one Brujabhasi, Rupa Goswami was going here and there, somewhere, somewhere. somehow they are, they are less interested about eating and sleeping. They are not even sleeping in the night time. Maybe happen now or 40 minutes, it is written. They are not. So finally, one, Rupa Goswami going here and there. One Gopabalak, they are speaking, Baba, there is some miracle here. But what happened? One Gomata coming daily in this, you know, in, in this tila, tila means some like rock, not rock actually, mud. Mud is so much mud. But one Gomata daily coming and giving milk automatically here. After the daily and going up. Rupa Goswami was thinking how possible. There must be something. There must be something. So why Gomata can come daily and give water there? I mean uh, milk there daily. It must be some reason. So, Sanatana Gosai wanted to search, finally. This way, Radha Govinda Ji was discovered there, under some mud. Radha Govinda. Under some mud, beautiful Vikrara, Govinda Ji, not Radha. Radha Rani was, Radha Rani came later. Govinda Ji was there. It was Aprakita Navin Madan of Vrindavan. Rupa Goswami started dancing. And to take out of the place, he search all Sastra and discover that is called Yoga Pita Vrindavan. Bala Vrindavan Vihari Lal Ki Jai. It was actually Yoga Pit. At present, Yoga Pit. I can discuss after about this point uh, tomorrow. Today, no time actually. So, Achaitan Namidam Vishram Jadi Chaitan Namiswaram Na Viduhu Sarva Sastragya Opihi Brahmanti Te Janaha. Try to realize about dham and the valuation of dust particle from the all you should try to realize. Manchakalpatarvasya ke pasin. Patitanang pavana bhavishnabhyon.